Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Simply Scripture. Today, I'm going to be reading from the New King James Translation. And in this video, I'm going to be reading the book of Job, chapter 28. Um, just want to ask for y'all to continue praying for my, my papa. He, um, he came home Friday, and he's uh, he's struggling. He's Physically, he's... Uh, He's healing up, but mentally he's he's just just pray for him. Um, before I get started, I want to say a little prayer. Dear God, I come to you today. I just want to thank you for all that you do, Lord. Lord, I thank you for your word. Thank you for your son, Jesus. Lord, I thank you for your love and your grace and your mercy. I just pray that you help me today, Lord guide me give me discernment Lord just show me the way Lord I pray for our country pray for the leaders of our country that you just give them godly wisdom we love you so much and we just thank you for all that you do in Jesus name I pray amen alrighty Job chapter 28 let's see Surely there is a mine for silver and a place where gold is refined. Iron is taken from the earth and copper is smelted from ore. Man puts an end to darkness and searches every recess for ore in the darkness and the shadow of death. He breaks open a shaft away from people in places forgotten by feet. They hang far away from men. They swing to and fro. As for the earth, from it comes bread, but underneath it is turned up as by fire. Its stones are the source of sapphires, and it contains gold dust. That path no bird knows nor has the falcon's eyes seen it. The proud lions have not trodden it, nor has the fierce lion passed over it. He puts his hand on the flint. He overturns the mountains at the roots. He cuts out the channels on the rocks. And his, eyes, and his eye sees every precious thing. He dams up the streams from trickling. What is hidden he brings forth to light. But where can wisdom be found? And where is the place of understanding? Man does not know its value, nor is it found in the land of the living. The deep says, it is not in me. And the sea says, it is not with me. It cannot be purchased for gold, nor can silver be weighed for its price. It cannot be valued in the gold of Ophir, in precious onyx or sapphire. Neither gold nor crystal can equal it, nor can it be exchanged for jewelry of fine gold. No mention shall be made of coral or quartz, for the price of wisdom is above rubies. The topaz of Ethiopia cannot equal it nor can it be valued in pure gold. From where then does wisdom come, and where is the place of understanding? It is hidden from the eyes of all living and concealed from the birds of the air. Destruction and death say, we have heard a report about it with our ears. God understands its way, and he knows its place. For he looks to the ends of the earth and sees under the whole heavens to establish a weight for the wind and apportion the waters by measure. When he made a law, when he made a law for the rain and a path for the thunderbolt, then he saw wisdom and declared it. He prepared it indeed. He searched it out and to man he said, Behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom, and to depart from evil is understanding. 